Me did the yan yan touch you are, and maybe I'm discovered for you, Pacum Busia for Wagana. No, me used to tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Won't you ashe? Me discover ye map pimp tap tap send. In TNA, also download the tap tap send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Let us see Kakomo Busia for Wagana for Nanina. Tap tap send. Papa no no. So the weekend is finally here with us on Summit Flex TV Live. And you know, when the weekend is coming like this, I know so many entertainers and event people become so happy because we are going to be cashing in from gigs, from events here and there. And this is what you have to know. There is going to be a long weekend. Monday is going to be a holiday in Ghana. Tuesday is also going to be a holiday in Ghana. So it is just about a muscle everywhere. We'll be chilling. Where will you be? Wherever you'll be. Remember to call me that Sammy Flex. I'm also around. Come and let's chill up like we have been doing it. Today, I'm bringing you the top stories right here on Sammy Flex TV Live. And even before we go deep into the stories, I am informing you that we are about to introduce something called Your News Report, or better still, Your News. Now, in Your News, this is what I want to do. I'm going to introduce some topics on the channel Sammy Flex TV Live exclusively. It is going to be here on this channel only and not on Sammy flex tv when we put out a topic you are going to record two minutes of yourself in your own report in a video you send it to a number that we're going to provide to you and we are going to put them together published it to be the people's report and it's going to be published only on sammy flex tv live so wait for it but today i am talking about Benna boy and black sheriff I know when you check all the entertainment portals, when you check on social media, what is really trending this morning is Benna Boy performing Black Sheriff or performing the song he featured with Black Sheriff at the Madison Square Gardens for his last concert in the tour. So I gather, I am gathering information that this is the last of his tour, the tours that he started some months ago. All tours successful, like recording huge and high numbers. Everywhere from Switzerland, London, um, Netherlands, and US of A, UK, all the places, huge, 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 huge numbers. And I hear it ended at the Madison Square Gardens. But there are some issues we need to discuss after the performance or after the tour. First of all, let me give you this information. The information is that Benna Boy is the only African artist who has performed in that particular place. That is the Madison Square Gardens. Some of the top world artists who have performed in that venue is we have Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley, The Beatles, Adele, Rihanna, Jay-Z, Justin Bieber, Maria Carey, and the list goes on and on. The capacity is 20,000. 789 that is the capacity of the madison square garden in new york and once again i am sending a huge congratulatory message to bernard boy and his team that is the good news and i want everyone to know that every artist dreams to perform at such bigger venues so for bernard boy to do it and do it not only in one country he has done it from different countries and it's not as if one of the countries failed or one of the countries flopped all these countries that he went to perform for his tour, it was successful. And the last one, everybody is talking about it. Hugely successful. But where is our boy, Black Sheriff? Now, we all know that Bernard Boy himself, it was not as if he was under duress to promise Bernard, uh, Black Sheriff that he was going to put him on the tour. No. 
Nobody put Bernard Boy under duress to do that. Out of his own volition, out of his own will, tweeted or put out an information that because he wants to do stuff with him, he would want to put him on his tour. I'm sure it was part of even the reasons he decided to do the second sermon remix with Black Sheriff. At the moment, the song is doing so well. And let me tell you what it really means that Bernard Boy meant to put the boy on the tour. Everywhere he goes, he did not refuse or he did not forget to perform the song. That is the second sermon remix. On almost every platform, he decided to perform the song. And anytime he performed the song, I watch and I feel like, okay, so this is what really Bernard Boy wanted. Like Black Sheriff on the stage with him performing the song together. And the reason he made that promise. But what has happened? We did not see Black Sheriff making any attempt to join him here or there. He was in Europe. We did not see Black Sheriff. He was in the UK. We did not see Black Sheriff. And the US one, that is the just ended Madison Square one. We did not see Black Sheriff. Well, I've done a little bit of an investigation into what might have happened. And I got these kind of pieces of information to share with you. First of all, in Ghana at the moment, I don't know about other countries though, but in Ghana at the moment, it is so hard and difficult to land a US visa. Information I am getting is that their visas or the embassies will be active, fully opened in 2024. That is what I'm gathering. And all these started when COVID broke out. So at the moment, US visa, how to secure a US visa is highly diplomatic. Unless you have some high diplomatic connections or links before you can land a US visa. Well, within the same time though, I have also seen some people moving out of Ghana. I've seen some people who have gone to the embassy with fresh passports and they have been given visas to travel. Some of them right under my nose and I know what I'm talking about. But I spoke with some people who are very close to Black Sheriff management members and they are telling me, yes, US was a little hard. The frustration, the stress you have to go through to secure a visa. So they could not even try knowing that it is going to be stressful. But then I ask. In Denmark, which is Europe, Schengen visa, how difficult was it going to be for Black Sheriff to get that to go perform? Could it be the fact that the law um, suit that was served him, could it be one of the problems why he did not even make the attempt to go look for the visa to go to Europe? Because for Europe, I, we saw our people recently, they were all in France. If you have a, fr a French visa or if you have a France visa, you can go to Denmark to perform. That one we know because it is part of the Schengen countries. So what really transpired? Are we going to blame whatever that is stopping Black Sheriff to perform on the tours with Benna Boy on the lawsuit that recently hit him? Are we going to blame that? Or could we say that it may be, just maybe, Team, B Team Black Sheriff have not been really active. They have not been proactive in making sure they get the visa to travel. Because personally, I'm hurt. Because this is one of the best opportunities um, Black Sheriff could have gotten from Benna Boy. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody knows tomorrow. Whether Black Sheriff is going to be there tomorrow for Benna Boy or whether Black, uh, Benna Boy is going to be there for Black Sheriff tomorrow. Nobody knows tomorrow. That is why we say that in this life, once an opportunity presents itself, you go straight to it, you hit it, and you win. The opportunity has presented itself. So beautiful. Now, I woke up with people posting almost all the blogs in Ghana, almost all the entertainment platforms. Everybody posting. Charlie Benaboy once again has done it. He's performed um, the song with, uh, with Black Shave. That is the second sermon remix. And it looks so beautiful. So beautiful. Guy dropping the songs, the tree lines, singing all the tree lines, the tree verses everywhere. But what is happening? What is happening? Like a fine opportunity. I am going to put Black Sheriff on my tour. And everybody was expecting it. If not for anything, we know that Black Sheriff, ever since he broke into the, um, media, uh, the music scene, has not even traveled outside um, Africa before. Of course, he's gone to Nigeria several times. But he's not gone outside Africa as much as I know. Unless maybe he has sneaked into some countries that we don't know at the moment. So this is going to be one of the best opportunities for him that in his first attempt to go outside of Africa, he did not just go on a small gig. He went on a bigger gig. Today, um, Whiskey is making $1 million from gigs in America. 
uh, sorry, Canada, Toronto. Westgate is making $1 million from gigs in Toronto. It is not because he just woke up today. I'm sure it is because of all the previous stages that he's mounted. It is because of all the previous platforms that he's been on. Therefore, if you are rating him, you would have to rate him as such. You'd have to rate him a $1 million kind of class. So I am feeling that it is true. Black Sheriff will obviously travel. He'll go to some places. No twist about that. I, I, I can't say he'll never travel after this. He'll travel. But on what tickets are you traveling? How huge is the, is, the, is the ticket you are traveling on? And again, what is going to be part of that list or history of your travel? So to me, I still think that this is an opportunity lost for Black Sheriff and his team. Because if really the tour has ended in uh, US of A, that is at the Madison Square Gardens for Banner Boy, then I don't know when again. Well, summer is just here. We don't know whether uh, Banner Boy is going to wait till he releases another album before he went back on another tour or what. And like I'm saying, when it comes to music, you don't reign forever. When it comes to music, you don't reign forever. Your reign is always at a specific time, at a specified time. So if you don't go hard and your reign goes down, or your reign dwindles, then you are messed up. I wouldn't say you are effed up. Because they will say, who never F up hands in the air? And no one will be able to raise their hands. So I wouldn't say that. Then you have messed up. Some of us, we are pained. But whatever it is that prevented Black Sheriff and his team from joining the Banner Boy on his tour, guys, work on it. Don't wait for the next thing to happen. Because I know there are so many international promoters looking for Black Sheriff to perform with him or to play gigs with him. As to why they are being slow, as to why they are not being forthcoming to get the gig sealed, I don't know. I don't know. Because I know some of these gigs have passed through my hands. They are still trying to link up with Team Black Sheriff to seal this deal so they perform. But it is still not going through. I, recently, just before I came to the studio to record this session, I saw a post from an anonymous person asking that a long weekend is here in Ghana. He's not seen posters of his favorite artists performing. He's not seen posters, and he was specific. He mentioned Black Sheriff. He mentioned Kojuanchi. He's asking that what is happening. A long weekend is, is coming up, and he's expecting to see oh, some posters flying left, right, and center. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Where are my superstars performing? And we are not seeing it. And this one, not to Black Sheriff alone. It is to every musician in Ghana. Why are you guys being slow when it comes to taking opportunities? This is an opportunity gone wrong. It is my prayer that they work at correcting some of these things. Because opportunity comes but once, like they keep saying. Opportunity comes once. So, to us, we want to congratulate Nigeria. We want to congratulate Bernard Boy and his team. And this is an eye-opener for every African artist. And here I'll be talking for my Ghanaian artist. This is an eye-opener. Guys, look sharp and win. And on this note, I would want to say thanks to the production team, the Guitar Rasta Currency, Richie Flex, and the Yala PG. And remember that we are still introducing your report. That is the report that you are going to give us. And we are going to put out the first topic very soon on the channel. Look for it, Samiflex TV Live. Give us your video. We'll give you a WhatsApp number that you send your video to. Just two minutes, we put it together. Then we get to know what the world is talking about. This is the world report on your perspective or based on your opinion. So be sharp, be part of this, and let's do it. My name is Sammy Flex. This has been the top stories here on Sammy Flex TV Live. Subscribe for more because we are not stopping until we will stop. We are out of here.